Today, we're gonna play with the cloth. All that, coming up. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, as I said, today we're gonna play with vellum cloth in Houdini. My inspiration was this one. As you can see, this is a cool effect. I saw that a while ago on Instagram. And yeah, I said to myself, why not? Let's do that in Houdini. Okay, first let's create helix or spiral uh, curve here. And honestly, I didn't know Houdini already have spiral node here. That's why I was using a node sub with the line node here. And no one told me, boy, we have already spiral node here and we're gonna use that. Okay, before that, first let me create this grid. Let's uh, pretend that's a piece of cloth, increase the resolution. And now for the love of God, a spiral node. Nice, this is an awesome node, I didn't know that. And okay, we're gonna use this and now let's create copy to node where are you copy to sorry copy to point and yeah okay now i want a sphere and let's copy that of course and i guess this is uh, inverted okay i have this sphere and now let's have a carve a node Okay, let's extract uh, the point. We have this point. I want to animate that. You see that? And we're going to use this dollar $t as a time. Okay, this is uh, too much. Now let's use uh, 20 or 30% of that. And yeah, that's nice. Okay. And now, of course, uh, I want to have a color attribute to that and transform that. Okay, for that, I want to use solver node. And I want to show you what's happening here. First, let's do initial a CD or color for the grid and another color for the sphere, animated sphere. For example, the red one. See that? And let's go into the solver. And yeah now transfer attribute cool and let's ring the threshold here and let's play nice that's what i need in here cool you see that we're gonna use that for the constraint of cloth later okay uh, this is a uh, cool now let me show you without the solver you see that that's what the solver doing here uh, he preserved uh, the previous frame of course and now uh, let's create group from that you see we have this CD uh, R okay for that let's type this expression okay now we have this group voila let's proceed Okay, now let me delete uh, the color attribute because we don't need that anymore here because we have the groups. Okay, and color, nice. And now let's create vellum cloth configuration constraint and now vellum solver and let's play and see what we're gonna have out of the box. Okay, this is not bad. And of course, I want to use this group to pin or freeze this cloth. And for that, of course, we have this pin to animation. You see that? And if I use that, because the group is animated, we're not getting this animation or this growth here. 
and this is my first challenge even i toggle this pin to animation not gonna happen okay how gonna fix that okay first let me clear that and you see this section and let me show you something cool let's create vellum constraint and we have this awesome mode called pin to target and you see that we have this option the exact option we had here okay we're gonna use that and let's pretend this group is okay and yeah not going to happen and of course with the pin to animation nothing happening okay the the problem is the group is not updating so i thought to myself let's go to vellum solver and let's create the same constraint and let's put this to each frame and of course i thought it will work and let's play boom nothing happened the group is not updating let me show you here in geometry spreadsheet here and the group it's here group one you see that it's not updating over time nothing you see okay for that i want to use sub solver i want to bring the group the original group here and let's create sub solver and let's go to the sub solver of course and in here object merge and let's bring that and let me see here yeah this attribute delete it's good checkpoint and let's go attribute delete and of course let's create color and let's bring it here of course and let's select our group group one and you see we have the groups here nice this is a cool sign now we're gonna of course copy that group to the original wall you see this original wall is not uh, changing okay for that let's create copy group not transfer group this is so important where are you copy group cool and let's select our group and of course let's override that that's so important and now let's have a color group one and let's see boom <laughs> that's worked you see that this is an awesome effect okay and let's have a, a for example decent force here some noises and yeah let's see you can do awesome effects with that this is an awesome and cool behavior of cloth you see and i love it okay and you see that's without the color and yeah okay this is the first one and of course uh, you can uh, change the bend and stretch and you gonna have a different uh, behavior of this cloth and of course uh, if you want you can uh, change or increase the resolution of the segment of this geometry and you see that's with low stretch and i love it okay this is the first mode and of course all that is available on my patreon the same file and if you enjoy this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content let's proceed okay you see that this is a cool effect honestly and that's the regular one if you want that go have fun with it but if you want the reverse uh, version of that effect you want to stick to end of this video of course we're gonna have some or cool challenge with uh, houdini in vellum okay if you want this red section of here have a cloth 
uh, effect and the rest of the geometry will frozen of course you will go with this constraint and invert the group with this sign I did that and guess what it's not going to work I don't know why this is a bug or awkward behavior of this constraint and you see that I even try uh, without uh, solver uh, approach here let me show you and let's go to the solver here and let's copy this attribute tra uh, transfer here and let's do that without the solver of course and let's see what's happened you see that and of course this is the regular version turns that uh, turns out uh, you can have that without the solver of course and you see this is the inverted version and nothing going to happen okay i thought to myself let's create vellum constraint and pin to target and let's see what actually this constraint doing with the actual geometry let me disable that for now and let's have a point of uh, range of point here and you see okay we had frozen this point here and let's see what's happening in a dop sheet with the attributes and let's uh, in vellum object of course let's bring that to 10 and voila you see he set the mass to zero so uh, with mass zero of course the point will be frozen and this pin to animation will create this awesome attribute glue to animation with one value you see that that's awesome let me copy that i want to use that later on and now let's see here let's enable that and of course let's invert the group and let's see what's happening you see all the geometry the mass of this geometry will set to zero that's why all the geometry is frozen and when the group is growing this mass attribute is not going to be one or this regular value i don't know why this is a bug or not but we need to reset that so we're going to use another sub solver and we're going to use a just attribute float that's for the mass you see let's filter that mass and let's see what value he is it's having here you see for example this value and let me set that in here okay mass and let's set always and yeah that's awesome and let's have our groups group uh, sorry and let's have another one this is uh, attribute integer adjustment and set always to one and of course with that one group here and okay let's see and uh, let's see what's happening you see that and voila that's working you see that we are resetting that attribute that's all okay this is the final version i load my fvx file here this is a supplier basically i convert that to polygon and and sub i don't have this even point for that i resample that and curve and blah 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 the same thing of course and let me show you here this is the basically the animation okay this is the logo and let uh, this is uh, the group of course and let me show you the first approach here okay this is a typical you see the same thing we talked about before and voila this is the first approach 
and of course I copy that color attribute here and I delete everything except color and velocity and this is the first approach okay now I have this issue here I need the fall off you see let me show you we don't have this fall off with the group approach because of that let's say let's have attribute blur to uh, have this fall off with the color here you see if we if we had this uh, fall off the group is not responsive you see that so for that I uh, fixed that with this uh, approach let me show you this is the final version of course you see we have this decent fall off for that I have this sub solver I don't this is the result and all that is available on my patreon play with it learn from it and this is the result and yeah with that have a good day see you in the next one